this system brought console quality gaming into our pockets. Well, our bigger pockets at least. Technically, you are actually a lot bigger. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 PSP games. Just like all of our other top console lists, we're sticking to one game per franchise, and we're excluding titles that were late ports from other systems. Be gone from here! Number 10, Daxter. Ah! Whoa! Sorry ladies! I didn't know Crimson Girls took showers. After years as a sidekick, the wisecracking Otzel finally got to be the star in this game. Jack! I'm coming for you, buddy! After his buddy Jack gets captured, Daxter gets hired as an exterminator. We, we are the best extermination crew in Haven City! As much as he loves killing bugs with his extermination tank, which releases bug spray that stuns his enemies, he's still determined to rescue his friend. It's not tough to get distracted along the way though, because the minigames, referred to as dream sequences, are still a blast. Heroes always find a way to get it done, no matter what the hardship. Number 9. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep You're exactly what I pictured a hero would be. As with the console installments in this series, this title combines elements and characters from Disney movies with those from Final Fantasy. But this time around, the revamped battle system improved the concept. You're done! Birth by Sleep is a prequel to the original PS2 game, and focuses on three different characters, each with their own scenarios. So there's plenty of neat things for Hearts fans to sink their keyblades into. <laughs> Number 8. Final Fantasy Tactics – The War of the Lions Call us controversial for choosing this Final Fantasy game over Dissidia or Crisis Core, but we didn't love any of them quite as much as this one. Like the other tactics games, War of the Lions offers a turn-based version of the classic RPGs, set in the Kingdom of Ivalis. Part of the fun of the game, aside from the ultra-tactical battles, is building up your roster of characters in order to collect one of each class. I'm no thief. I'm a sky pirate. Number 7. Siphon Filter Dark Mirror Very few console-style shooters worked on the PSP because of the absence of the second control stick, but this title was one of those exceptions. That said, it's not just shooting that you'll be doing if you're gonna take down terrorists and save the day. That would do it. You'll sneak around, fight bad guys with hand-to-hand -hand combat, and take part in an impressive variety of mission scenarios. Miller has a security card key that reads B1. Maybe we'll unlock some answers. Logan out. Number 6. Patapon 3. <laughs> Music and rhythm games have taken the gaming world by storm in recent years, thanks to their popularity with casual gamers. But this title isn't exactly DDR. You control a hero through his battles with opponents like giant crabs by beating drums in rhythm, which are connected to the four face buttons. A simple concept goes a long way here, as this proper timing allows for epic battles to unfold. Style and substance mesh perfectly here. Number 5, Loco Roco 2. Don't let the bright colors and childish music fool you. This game is seriously fun. Instead of controlling your blob of Loco Rocos, you tilt and shift the world itself, allowing your ball or balls of cuteness to roll and hop over and around various hazards. The goal is to get to the end with as many Rocos as possible, harking back to the days of Lemmings. But the unique art style and undeniably cute characters make for an experience unlike any other. Number 4. Valkyria Chronicles 2. Just my luck, I get the two of you dumped on me. Some gamers were shocked when Sega announced that the sequel to this game's PS3 predecessor would be handheld only. <laughs> but they changed their minds once they played it. The title seamlessly brings in the turn based shooter gameplay from the first game and it even improves it. Victory through diligence, peace through strength. As much as we enjoyed the five classes in the first one, the new additions like the armored soldiers meant we could never look back. Coming at ya!
Number three, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories. Hey, easy with that, Tony. It's, it's the on switch for the... No! Like its follow-up, Vice City Stories, this title proved that the expansiveness of the GTA games could be replicated on handheld. Apartments cost money, Tony. Just you remember who pays the bills around here. It allows you to experience all that the GTA 3 version of Liberty City has to offer, no matter where you are. With impressive graphics, an unrestrictive open world, and a fully voiced cast of characters, LCS stood on equal footing with its living room counterparts. Besides, remember, there's a hierarchy here, capiche? Now be a good kid! Number two, God of War, Ghost of Sparta. Ah! Since this series was one of our favorite exclusives for the Sony consoles, we couldn't wait to see how it would work on the PSP. Thankfully, this game and its predecessor, Chains of Olympus, exceeded our high expectations. Protagonist Kratos is as brutal as ever, as he has to be when he fights enemies like Thanatos. The gods decide, and the sisters of fate make it so. He's not alone though, he's got some awesome new weapons like the spear and shield known as the arms of Sparta. Before we get to our number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. <laughs> Number 1. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Mobile launcher carrying a thermonuclear warhead even more powerful than the Soviet RDS 220s. That's Peace Walker. The PSP had some great games, but none packed quite the same punch. Peace Walker wasn't just a good version of the series for handheld, it was one of the greatest Metal Gear games to date, period. The title features some of the best storytelling we've seen in the games involving us in Big Boss's search into the reappearance of his dead mentor. It has the trademark stealth gameplay you love, and along with it, you can build your own army and even create your own Metal Gear. You'll finally have a reason to go on that 36-hour bus trip you've been postponing. Agree with our list? You're really hot when you're angry. What's your favorite PSP game? We shall make quick work of this and erect a statue befitting of your glory. For more portable top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.